Do you read books on Kindle and make highlights? So where are all those Kindle notes? Well, for most people, they're all over the place. And the only time that they see the highlights that they so carefully made is when they return to the appropriate pages in the Kindle books. Well, we can do better. And that's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Did you know that there's one URL that houses all your Kindle notes? While logged into your Google account, go to this address right down here. You are now looking at all of your highlights from all of your Kindle books, all in one place. Click on any book down the side, and there are your notes from that book. Scroll down the page and see your highlights, and then clicking on options will take you to that passage in that book. Pretty neat, huh? But it gets better. What if Amazon decided to do away with that URL? What if you lost access to your Amazon account? What if you simply wanted to increase the searchability of your notes? Well, you can export your Kindle information to Evernote, and it's easy. So if we're at this site, all we have to do is go up to the Evernote Web Clipper. I'll click and watch what happens. It loads the Web Clipper. And I have these options. I'm going to click Article and click Save. Watch what happens. Okay, so here is the note that you clipped. Whatever book you selected, the notes from that book are going to be here. Now, one thing that's no longer available to you is if you click the options, it's not going to take you back over to this particular part of that book. So this part is dead once you've brought it into Evernote. What you do have in Evernote is the ability to search from anywhere in Evernote and if that Kindle library somehow went away, you would always have those notes. Now, here are pictures of the other books that you have in your library, but really these are not going to do you any good. Within this note, what you have are access to the notes and the highlights from the particular book that you selected. Now, this may be all you need, the ability to just go through and read these, but if you would like to make this editable, Let's go a step further. Up here at the top, you see this little magic wand. And if you don't see it, if you just sort of mouse around and click around right in this area, it will appear. Watch what happens when I click it. It now makes this entire note editable. And it sort of looks like I messed up because now I just see all these titles and I see these uh, book covers. But when I scroll down, past all these book covers that are in my library. Ah, here are the notes to that particular book. So what I'm gonna do is just click and highlight all of this going back up to the top. And I'm just gonna delete all of this. So we'll just scroll all the way back, holding the mouse and over to there. And we'll just delete. And then here I'd like to have the title instead of the title of this note being Kindle, your notes and highlights. Let me highlight this and say copy and we'll paste there. All right, so now I have the highlights and the notes that I'd taken from this book. They are trapped here in Evernote. If something else goes away, I still have these notes. Information is only valuable if you can find it when you need it. And so if your information is carefully highlighted, but hidden within digital pages of digital books scattered across your Kindle library, well, it's not much good. Now you have your notes from your library in one place. We've shown you one book. You just simply do one book at a time. When you finish reading it, you finish highlighting it, uh, just export it into Evernote and you've got it forever. This one's just too easy not to do. Thanks for stopping by today. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and take a look at these two videos right over here and subscribe to the channel for more videos. This has been Frank Buck helping you get organized and make it look easy.